Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to assign value-added and non-value-added activities. I'm just going to bring up the last used video, which is this little icon right here. And it's in there. And now let's say I knew the activities I was going to observe, so I can start defining them here. So I know the first one is uh, both the sides. Right? And I just now notice my settings here. Here are the value-added options. Value-added, non-value-added, required non-value-added. I can also identify if there's any delays involved, no delays, avoidable delays, unavoidable delays. By default, our options will always be no delays and value-added. So let's say I want to say that here, and then I press the Enter key. It adds it as an observation here. My next tip, so I may want to go ahead and record that. So here's the guy buffing the, uh, buffing the sides. I'll wait till he pulls away right there. I stop it. I select the buff sides and I click on the save. So it records that as an observation down here. You see buff sides has now been added here. I can I so I can either type in my activities ahead of time or I can play them right here uh, as I watch it. Now he's buffing the bottom. I can just add them as we go along here. So he pulls away, I say buff bottom. And again, this is value added and no delay involved here. I could, of course, change them if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. And I just click on the save and it puts it in here. And now he's going to do the aside and get next. And this one is going to be required but non value added. So just do aside and get next. All right? And that particular setting is going to be required non value added here. And I just click on the save and it adds it down here. You can see it's flagging the different items here. Let's say I have another item coming up, inspection. Right, and I wanted to make that non-value added here. I can do non-value added here and add that to my list as well. So there are my different characteristics uh, being defined here. So you can do that as you go along uh, through the, the study here. So notice my delays are blank here. Let's say we've got another one coming up here, which might be talk to supervisor. Now this is going to be non-value added and this is going to be an avoidable delay. So we can identify that and then just press the enter and you can see non-value added, A for avoidable, U for unavoidable. This is how you define the non-value added and uh, avoidable delays and unavoidable delays uh, characteristics of the studies you're taking here.